Because I wanted to go to the dive bar because everyone who knows me knows I love yeah. fucking dive okay, bars. Okay, okay, so the, the kid here is wearing a shirt that barely covers her butt. No, look, that is a shirt. A shirt, and I'll even show you. You know what? I'm going to show you the whole ensemble and the skirt too. Hold it. Hold it. Now turn it around. Now look, make sure I'm in frame. Now get the whole thing fairly and get the flip flops. I'm not wearing heels. I'm wearing flip flops. Right? Okay, not crazy. Like, isn't that like standard summer wear in New York and LA? Isn't that like how we dress and how we do it? Well, tell them the rest of the story. So we go up the stairs Look here. and we have a table with four very, very, very black horny looking cute. Oh my god, I walked in and it looked like they, they just gave me that look like they were gonna skin me alive and eat me. And Jeff there would be are, so upset. There are, <laughs> There are two women here and two women at the so they look in the guy here like this and I look over. Look up dad. Granny. Here go, Granny goes, hola. And they go, hola. <laughs> we couldn't get out of there fast enough. I'm like, that's it. We're not leaving the hotel. And then what does Betty say? It's because of my outfit. No, come on. She's, she doesn't get it. I don't get it. This is how people dress. No, I'm no. not that good looking. I, I don't buy that. Sorry. <laughs> I don't. Jeff, darling, I have no idea how you handle this because I can barely handle it. Grandma is stressed with this hot piece of ass I got here. <laughs> that is so not true. So we decided that we're going to stay at the hotels, even though we're not staying in a hotel. So we're at the Riviera, and it's kind of like circa 1950. Five stars from now on. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> we don't go anywhere. <laughs> so we have beers. See, see. And we're gonna have a Cuban sandwich, and they yes. just came over and made us a deal for two massages, thirty dollars, and uh, we can use the pool. So I think that's where we're gonna be doing our humanitarian see. relief. Because tomorrow we're gonna be no, th this is only for today. Yeah, we'll do it again tomorrow. Come on, you know we're New Yorkers. Okay. We don't buy that. We'll say we got a better deal yesterday. We'll go somewhere else. Now our tour guide Thelma did tell us that we can walk anywhere around this area and be completely fine. And I think the implication is if you're walking someplace that you may go in that place and order a beverage. But now I know I'm only staying at the hotels with the Europeans. <laughs> yes. I had to take the camera away from her. I am now holding it myself. If you think the Cuban story is racing. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna tell you. The minister <laughs> The Minister of the Interior. Oh, the Minister oh, oh. of the Interior. Get out of here. This is this is my little this is my film. I'm the narrator and I'm the podcaster and I'm the broadcaster and I'm the cameraman. So just before all of that scary stuff happened on, on that <laughs> local terrace with the baby slut, everything hanging out, looking so safe. She said, I don't think I look that great. So she's a little naive. So <laughs> right before that, we're in our, our, our house and they have to come and the hostess comes and gets us and we go out into the foyer. Oh no, I didn't go. I'm in the I'm in I'm in the bedroom. We're lying down in the bed all day today, exhausted. So Carlin goes out to talk to him. what was he? He was from the Minister of the Interior. There's a a, a a man who's got a uniform. He was he wasn't armed. I didn't see any guns or anything. But he's got a uniform on and he's talking to Alessandra, a hostess, and she walks out in her underwear. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know any. I didn't know anyone was there. Get, no, I, 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 I'm telling. I am telling the story. And I'm still in. The, I was walking to the bathroom. I'm still in the bedroom, laying on the bed, and I hear something. And then they're on the phone, and little, 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 I don't know what's going on. And so finally, she comes in the bedroom. And she says, "Come on out, Betty. Look at this. He's so cute." <laughs> and I go out. And here's this guy sitting in a uniform, and I reach down and I look at his pocket, and it says something, something interior, administered interior, and I'm going, we're busted, here we go, here we go. And our hostess, because all all day long we're, since we've been here, you know, I am the sexologist, sexologist, uh, here to visit Mariela Estra. Not that many people know who Mariela Castro Espin is, so I'm thinking, you know, tell them I'm, I'm a sexologist and I'm here. <laughs> Tell them what else you said about, is it the money? Oh, 
Oh, and yes, she's waiting for money from the Barbados. I got, you know, they don't know who we are. Something about sex, something about getting money, something about, <laughs> I've got this kid here who is so hot, it's embarrassing, and I am the chaperone. If, <laughs> if Grandma wasn't with Baby over here, she would have been rude, screwed, tattooed, and <laughs> consumed. All right, signing off. <laughs>